Hello, beautiful, 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 beautiful people. Beautiful, black, intelligent people. Hope this day has progress. Very, very good for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> My <clears throat> beautiful black brothers and sisters, I will say this. No more lies, please. What we get from politicians, especially those Republican politicians, locally, statewide, and nationally, Republican politicians sing the same tune. They will lie. They will deny, they will deflect, and they will project to the utmost, to the detriment of you, I, and the American people. No more lies. Jobs are not sent overseas because America does not have enough skilled workers. That is a lie. Those jobs are sent overseas so that these wealthy, white, owned, white controlled corporations, banks, and stockholders can make huge profits off of the backs of non-unionized, uninsured, desperate people living in third world poverty. That's why jobs are sent overseas. The truth be told, Republicans, administration, the Bush administration, gave tax cuts to send jobs overseas, only to boost the profits, greed of the corporations, the banks, and the stockholders. No more lies. Please. Elephants. Elephants are very powerful animals. Elephants are able to lift logs with their trunks. Elephants are able to knock trees over using their heads. You might think it is strange then to find that elephants are usually kept tethered by their handlers with a length of thin rope or a small chain that they could easily break. This is because the elephants have been conditioned. They've been programmed. And this programming is accomplished by the trainers through the use of a heavy metal chain to tether the elephant, while they are still young. The elephants learn during their development, their growth, that they cannot break the bonds and they associate them with their limits, their boundaries, etc., etc., and even with their freedom. Later, 
when those elephants are fully grown and are adult size and strength, they still believe that they cannot break that bond, and so they never really try. And from that point on, only a rope is necessary to keep them, the elephants, from breaking their bonds, freeing themselves, and realizing their true strength. Now, I hope when you are listening to this, that you do realize that I am not really talking about elephants at all. Don't you? I am not talking about elephants at all. White folks are socially engineered from birth. Some black folks are socially engineered from birth to behave a certain way, to talk a certain way, to think a certain way. I am not really talking about elephants, my beautiful, intelligent, black brothers and sisters, over-medicated and uneducated is exactly how they want us to be, over-medicated and uneducated is exactly how the white boys want us to be. The white boys are socially engineered from birth. They think that they are superior. They think that their genetics are superior. White folks are socially engineered from birth. Mental slavery is the worst form of slavery. When you are socially engineered from birth to think a certain way, to behave a certain way, to interact a certain way with other folks. That is likened to mental slavery. Mental slavery is the worst form of slavery. It gives you the illusion of freedom. It makes you trust it causes you to love and defend your oppressor. It will also make you think, make you think that you should make an enemy of those who are trying to free you or open your eyes, open your mind. Mental slavery is the worst form of slavery, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. It gives you the illusion of freedom. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.li.
B-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. There you